Hello, it is Mars like the planet and I am back here with a brand new video, brand new conversation, brand new topic. And I'm just going to literally go with the flow because I don't even necessarily know what that topic is going to be. So, yeah, <laughs> I wherever this wherever this conversation takes us is where we will go. But first and foremost, I would like to start off by simply saying that I am really proud of you. I am proud of myself and we have really came a long way. And if you watch this video, because I tend to send this video out into the universe and I am hoping that it will reach the people that I need it to reach. So if you're watching this, you're one of those people. And I wanna let you know that I really am proud of you for all of the things that you had to overcome, for all of the things that you had to deal with and some of the things that you are still, still, still dealing with to this day. Um, I am one to understand that some people suffer in silence. I'm one of those people and sometimes we suffer out loud and when we suffer out loud people get a bit confused because they don't normally see us suffering because we do it internally and you know we tend to hide it so well but there's no more no more no more allow yourself to surrender Allow yourself to release that suffering so you can go to the places that you need to be. Recently, I've been connecting more with myself and with God. I am very much so a very spiritual person. And in the beginning of my life, I, I was a Christian. I did the best I could to follow God's commandments and everything like that. But as I got older and more things began to happen to me, it withdrew me from God and it made me believe that um, I was just an entire abomination, just an entire sin, which is not the case, not at all. I was filled up with beliefs that, that God wouldn't want to love me he wouldn't want to forgive me because of the things that i've been through or the thoughts that i i would have but as i am now i come to the realization god never left me god has always been within me and he's within all of us now i'm not saying oh go to church go to church or if you're this you're that you're you're going to hell no because I am most of those things. And I used to believe that I was just gonna go to hell. And that is not the case. I am going to the place where I know I belong. And I know I do not belong in hell. And if you honestly feel you belong in hell, then I feel like that's where you're gonna go. You have to change that mindset of thinking that you're not good enough or you're not worthy of his forgiveness or that you just are a sin because you're not. You are a blessing. Don't allow the situational things that you've been through to determine where you are going when you are still standing here today. You are a freaking warrior and you are literally one of his soldiers going through the battles of life and you haven't given up. And I'm very, very proud of you for that. Um, but just know he's within you. He's all around you. It's gonna be okay. Um, and you know, I, I realized even like with on TikTok and everything, everyone is just only pushing out like spirituality and positivity and everything like that. And it's a, a big misconception and people are being misinformed. Um, 
you can't do or be all those things until you realize that the real power is within literally we were literally made in his image but that does not make us him we are our own people our own self with him guiding and aligning us now i myself have many 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 beliefs um there are some things that i still question but as time has taken me here i just i started to believe everything's gonna be okay i just have to have that trust that faith that hope which for so long even through everything that i was going through i always knew that eventually it would be okay and you know as as i am right now things have gotten better throughout the years the days the months it's been getting better you know it doesn't necessarily take away that initial pain that i went through but at the end of the day that pain is in the past and by me simply holding on to all of that pain is what's causing my current suffering and if i release the pain of the past then my future self and my current self can be very much so comfortable and i just know that within time for me and for you it will be okay because if it's not okay right now just know that it will be and if you keep giving it time and you keep waiting it out you're gonna see very much so amazing things but you also have to put the work in like you can't just expect and that's something that i had to learn like i was just expecting things to be okay and i wasn't going inside i wasn't um working on myself i wasn't noticing the patterns and the behaviors that i needed to break or just making certain realizations i was just trying to i wanted to be okay now you know and that's you, you can't just do that there are so many steps and procedures that you do have to take to get to where you need to get to and but most importantly having that trait that ugh, having that trust is like the number one thing trust in yourself trust in the universe trust in god trust in whatever higher power you believe in but just know you have to have that trust because with no trust what are you really establishing you can't establish anything if there's no trust that goes for relationships that goes for like people anything you know, let, for example, let's say you're in a relationship with a boyfriend or a girlfriend and you want everything to really work out, but you just simply do not trust them and you do not know why. You just don't trust them. Even if they have given you a reason to not trust them or if they haven't, you just, there's no trust. So there can't be no foundation, excuse me. I just ate a bunch of like pecans, I think. Did I have pecans? I don't know. But so i'm burping but like you literally there has to be an establishment of trust there has to be a foundation so you can build the house you can build the kingdom and for me i came to an understanding i had to have that trust i had to let go of the pain i had to realize that sometimes i am at fault I am at fault with certain situations and things simply because of the way I was feeling. I projected that onto other people and then they reacted and then I felt some type of way towards their negative reactions when I was the one that was reacting negatively in the first place. I used to blame a lot of people for a lot of things that I caused. And that was never okay. But now I'm taking in and realizing that I need to hold myself accountable.
for my actions and my decisions that that I did and you know there was a point in time I literally blamed everybody and everything for what was going on to me and I didn't take the time to look inside or I didn't take the time to take a step back and it's like what am I doing for this to be happening and now that I do I do that um, and sometimes I still struggle with it because I am in the process of level leveling up even more but there are times when my shadow self will step out and take over but now I realize that when my shadow self comes out it's because there is a problem that's that's been cooking inside that I wasn't taking the time to notice and simply with me um, personally I have to learn that I'm not I'm not in control and I know there's people out here pushing and saying oh you are the one that is in control you are the one that's like number one like no I'm not in control and once I realize that I'm not in control and that the higher source or God or the universe is in control, things move and flow a lot better. Things go very well once I fully admit that I am not in control. I try to take over and I try to hop in control and that's when everything goes not one I don't want to say completely wrong but that's when things go go left and that's where that establishment of trust comes in you just have to trust and believe and hold on to that hope that things will be okay that things will flow but you have to allow them to flow and another thing that I would like to mention is the other day I got a download um, and I can't even remember it right now because I, I'm it's not relevant at this moment I guess but I was going to talk about that but what I'm getting now is that for so long this is a story for so long I I tried to create this version of myself that everyone wanted to see. Like I tried to be someone that other people wanted me to be and that detached me from my true inner and higher self. And now I've been more accepting of myself and I've been more accepting of truly being me. And that's when good things happen. And I know in a world like this, it can be hard, excuse me, because they really try to <clears throat> rip you away from who you really are. And once you learn who you really are, or you get a piece of knowing who you really are, you're gonna do everything that you can to be you. And I literally thought back to when I was a kid and like in school and stuff when you know nobody really associated with me that much and I used to think well is it is it is it me is there something wrong with me and that created um all that doubt and created a lot of negativity within my mind and my mindset and it made me struggle for a while of feeling good enough for other people when the case was never me not being good enough because I've always been good enough. It was just certain people can't see how great I really am because they are programmed to believe certain things and that's not their fault. And it's not my fault either. Um, so if you ever went through life feeling extremely misunderstood, it was never you, it was never your fault. Um, so don't hold that against yourself because 
there are people who are out here in this world that are more than willing to try to understand you, that are more than willing to give you what you're looking for and to be there for you in a way that you need, in a way that you've been there for others, um, and the way that you try to be there for others. And it's like, I'm just more grateful than anything that I'm here today. I'm sitting in this chair in my room, in my apartment. Grateful. Because for so long, I didn't think I would be in the position that I am now. And A lot of people, I would say, think that they know me, but they don't know me. They know a version of me that they created, or they know a version of me that was just negative, toxic in the past. And a lot of people met me when I didn't even, I didn't know myself, I didn't love myself. I was extremely self-destructive and I didn't want to be alive. And people, they say, oh, I know you, I know you, you don't know me. You don't know me. You haven't met the healing version of me. You haven't met the, the version of me that's been really keeping myself alive, that's been working towards achieving something bigger than me. And when I when I say that achieving something bigger than me, the thing that I want to achieve is to help the collective, to break the generational curses which I'm already on the path to, which it's just it gets difficult sometimes. I'm not going to lie, like spiritual journeys are not easy it's not all about love and light it gets dark sometimes it gets really really dark you lose everybody you don't know what's real anymore because everything that you've been taught that's real is not even real and then you start to understand why you went through everything you went through. And it's up to you <clears throat> to learn from those situations. Um, it's all about learning something from it and growing from it at the end of the day. Um, you can get put in the same situation over and over and over again. And that's simply because you have not learned yet. And that's simply how I feel about life on earth. I feel as if people come to this earth to learn the lessons. And there's some people who don't ever learn the lessons simply because they just feel like everything is against them or they feel as if they are not worthy because they get programmed to become a low vibrational being. And what I'm trying to do is encourage everyone to become their best high high vibrational self that they they can the earth and the world is just a vibration on its own but society and the media and everyone is just trying to bring people down so much and that's why the the earth is going through all of these different things and that's why externally it's not the greatest because they have been creating low vibrational beings i'm here to make high vibrational beings i'm here to help people reach the high vibration that they are meant to be and I do have a lot of optimism. Like I'm very optimistic that I can do that, that I can help become that change in the world, that I can help assist people with their journey. And it's like, if you don't know where to begin, start with you, go within, 
and I honestly do feel like for the past few years the amount that I have gone within has really made a significant change within myself along with the world and I am only one person so just imagine if a group or even more individuals and I do see that a lot of people are going within and like that is so amazing there are so many people these days that are waking up and realizing that they are the ones to make the change and there are people who are just literally still pushing only love and light when they don't even mention how dark things can get. Um, that's something that I don't appreciate. I'm gonna be the first one to tell you, this spiritual journey, this inner journey, they will throw all kinds of tests, obstacles, trials at you and you can't let it or them break you and that's one thing that i can say i've been broken but i've always repaired and put myself back together and i i know that like is not easy is not easy so i'm not just gonna say oh you you have to do this you have to do that no because it's not easy it's not meant for everybody everybody just can't take it how some people can and there are some people that do not deserve to go through certain things that they have gone through or what they're currently going through but as long as they understand that it's for a, a, a bigger purpose, then they'll be okay. Um, and I wish I would have realized that a lot sooner than later, but at the end of the day, I still made that realization. And I feel like that's what keeps me a little bit more leveled these days. Um, I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else. All I can all I can say is just keep creating. Whether it's art, like drawing and painting, music, poetry. Keep creating. And if you don't currently create, create something. You are a creator. You can create. Turn that pain into something positive. Turn that negativity into something positive. Um, change is coming and it's gonna be okay. And that's, that's all I can really say now. Um, that's all I can really push change is coming, it's gonna be okay. You just have to really be there for yourself. And, you know, don't lose or don't stray too far away from, from God, from source, because that's what this, this life is trying to do is trying to stray everyone away and lead them to a world of lost souls um, and that's where the shift is going to take place you're either going with the lost souls or you're going to higher places and higher planes I'm just trying to bring forth many people to go towards the higher planes. Um, I know what it's like to feel like a lost soul. 
a lost cause. It's not okay. And I will do everything in my power to ensure that less people feel that way, whether I know them or don't. It doesn't matter because as long as I know that I am open them, opening them up to something much, much greater, that's all that matters. And giving them that genuine compassion, that genuine love that they freaking deserve, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. I'm not doing or making these videos for people to just, you know, go by and just be like, oh, I, like she's, she's off her rockers. No, I make these because I know that there's certain people who are going to listen. There's certain people that are going to realize that the power is within. And I can just give you a few examples. Moana. She restored her heart. The heart chakra. She found herself. She went within. She had to travel. She had to do certain things. She went through certain things. She lost people she cared about. But she had her ancestors behind her. And she healed her heart. Elsa. She went within. She realized that the entire time it was within her. It was an external. It was within. Those are the two main things. The two main movies. Frozen and Moana. Um... Be kind to yourself and be kind to others and realize that no matter what you do, there's always going to be positive people reacting and there's going to be negative people reacting. The only thing you can control is how you react. Um, I love you and I'm proud of you again. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being alive. Thank you for continuing your battle. Excuse me. You are a soldier. And you're a strong one. And you're going to make it out of this. You're going to make it out of here. In the most positive way. Make your impact. Make the change. And go within. May peace be with you.